it's Addie, and today we are watching Good Will Hunting. I feel like it's probably a crime that I have not seen this movie until now, uh, but I'm excited to finally fix that today. I honestly don't know much about this movie other than I've heard it's so well done. I mean, obviously it has a fantastic cast. So I'm kind of just excited to see what I've been missing. So yeah, I I honestly, this is embarrassing, but when I was growing up and when I was younger, I thought that this movie had something to do with Goodwill. Um, I don't think it does, but um, I guess I should just dive in and find out what this movie is about. This is Goodwill Hunting. I didn't know that the movie was written by them too. Mod FX square DX. I've been watching a lot of movies with him recently. I also put an advanced Fourier system on the main hallway chalkboard. Former winners include Nobel laureates and lowly MIT professors. Mmm, <laughs> he works here. I'm sure they are not happy about water getting close to them. I will. Christian, how you doing? Right. Why didn't you give me none of that nasty little hoochie woochie you usually throw at me? Like I waste my energy spreading my legs for that Tootsie Roll. I will never look at Tootsie Rolls the same. Where are you going? I'm gonna take off. Can you say I get off? It's like what? Oh, he's working. He's working on it too. Oh, does he have, actually have the answer to it? Oh, stop brushing me back! Ow! You're crowding the f***ing plate! <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh! It's still tough? Come on! It won't ah, Come on, come on, that's it. Yes? I'm in your applied theories class. It's Saturday. <laughs> Let's not talk about this. We just couldn't wait until Monday to find out who proved the theorem. Oh, he did have it. Who did this? The mission? <laughs> no way. Joey, oh, take it out. Oh, take it out. Oh, another pitch. That's her own, I says. He's a guy she's with. Carmine Scott Pagley. That kid used to beat the shit out of me in kindergarten. Chuck a head a double burger. You shut the f up. I know what you ordered. Give me my f sandwich. I bought it. Why don't you just give me my sandwich and stop being a prick? Oh. <laughs> we'll put you on a program. Every day you come in with your six cents, and at the end of the week you get your sandwich. Oh my gosh. It'd be so fresh by then. Can I have my food now, please? Here's your f double burger. Oh. We just seen the guy 15 minutes ago at the park. If he was gonna fight him, we should fight him then. We're eating our snacks now. <laughs> Priorities. He just wants his dang cheeseburger. Oh, they're in two f seconds. When I'm done with them, you're next. It's me, Will. Remember, we went to kindergarten together. Oh, oh, we're really just diving right on in. Jeez. Whoa, whoa. And they could have just stayed in their car and enjoyed their cheeseburgers. Is this my imagination, or has my class grown considerably? Mm, it definitely has. So without further ado, come forward, Silent Rogue, and receive thy prize. I'm glad no one's owning up to it when they didn't actually do it. And there is a problem on the board right now. The gauntlet has been thrown down. Oh, he's going to see him. Sorry. What are you doing? Don't you walk away from me! Hey, f you! Oh, and he's gone. It wasn't graffiti. Oh my god. Uh huh. He's the one. Why did you get fired, Will? Come on. Uh, management was restructuring. <laughs> <laughs> my uncle could probably get you on a demo team. Can you do that? I asked you yesterday if I could get a job, and I told you no. Yes. This is a Hobbit bar, huh? Time out. I'm gonna have to bust a little move on them Hobbit honeys down the end of the bar. <laughs> 
kind of smooth, real smooth. Oh, hello. Where often? Do I come here? I come here a bit. I think I had a class with you. Maybe? Yes. <laughs> it's very big. That's what it was. I not remember oh. me. There was someone. What class did you did you say that was? History. History. Yeah. I remember that class. It was um, it was just between recess and lunch. Fun with my new friend. That's all. Wait, we gonna have a problem? No, no, no. no. Very loosely. I was just hoping you might give me some insight. The economic modalities could most aptly be characterized. You're gonna be convinced of that till next month when you get to James Lemon. That's gonna last until next year. You're gonna be in here regurgitating Gordon Wood. Oh, I'm so glad he knows what he's talking about. Wood drastically underestimates the impact Wood of social. Wood drastically underestimates the impact. <laughs> they are all so surprised. You got that from Vickers. Work in Essex County, page 98, right? Oh, oh, he has page numbers and everything. But you, is that your thing? You come into a bar, you read some obscure passage, your own idea just to impress some girls, embarrass my friend? Mm -hmm. Called you out? One, don't do that. You dropped 150 grand on a f***ing education you could have got for a dollar fifty. And you'll be serving my kids fries at a drive through Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but at least I won't be unoriginal. Mm. It's cool. It's cool. Uh-huh. Cool. Back away. You're like, yeah. Nah. <laughs> That, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I had oh, a receipt in the yes, airline and I was a few pounds overweight and I was like, you. go f yourself. I swallowed a bug. <laughs> I've been sitting over there for 45 minutes waiting for you to come and talk to me. Mm. I'm well. Skylar, there's my number. Maybe we could just get together and eat a bunch of caramels. When you think about it, it's as arbitrary as drinking coffee. I do, I do enjoy a cup of coffee, though. Oh no, are we gonna do this? Do you like apples? I got a number. How do you like them, man? <laughs> Excuse me. Is this the building's in grounds office? I have this guy who works in my building. I can't give you his name unless you have a complaint, please. He's not in trouble. Mm. Will hunting. <laughs> Whereby a defendant can't claim self-defense. By the Constitution of the United States, without liberty, man is a cinco. Man is a what? Ibid, Your Honor. But you hit a cop, you're going in. $50,000 bail. Thank you. Who? Have a seat. I'm Gerald Lambo. Professor, you told to f himself. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that professor. I've spoken to the judge, and he's agreed to release you. First condition is that you meet with me every week, that you see a therapist. <laughs> No more tomfoolery, no more ballyhoo. Well, I mean, I do, I do do things, you know. I'm... What kind of things? Boom, boom, you know, you start dancing. Boom, boom. Ah, just... uh, yes, boom, boom, boom. I was trying to help Do you me. find it hard to hide the fact that you're gay? What? Uh, Henry. I don't think he's gonna help Oh, Jerry. An absolute lunatic he is. Figure, it's hovering over me. Where is it touching you? It's touching me down there. Sky rockets in flight. Yeah, he's just messing with all of them. Well, there is someone, my roommate in college. Why is trust the most important thing in making a breakthrough with a client? Trust is life. It's very deep. Thank you, Vinny. <laughs> hey, Jerry. So how long has it been since we've seen each other? Before Nancy died. I was in Paris. It was that damn conference. I got your card. It was nice. Hey, uh, what happened? Probation and then uh, counseling two days a week. You're a smoothie. Come on, Morgan, just submit! <laughs> <laughs> what makes him so incredible, Jerry? Ever heard of Romana John? Yeah. This, this Romana John, his, his genius was unparalleled, Sean. This boy is just like that. He's a bit defensive. And I need someone who can get through to him. Are you the guy? Yeah. How many shrinks you go to before me? <laughs> Quite Five. a bit. Oh. Hi, Will. Hi. This is Sean McGuire, Will Hunting. How are you? Great introductions. All right, let's go. I like what you've done with the place. Do you like books? Yeah. What about the ones on the top shelf? You read those? Yeah, I read those. Good for you. The United States of America, a complete history. This is already such a different approach than the, any other um, therapists. The wrong books. What are the right books, Will? <laughs> hey, whatever blows your hair back. I've got much hair left. Hmm. 
You know you'd be better off shoving that cigarette up your Yeah, I know. It really gets in the way of my yoga. What, you lift? Free weights. Oh, really? What do you bench? 285. What do you bench? You paint? Mm -mm. Like art? It's a real piece of sh**. Well, tell me what you really think. <laughs> what concerns you? Just the coloring. You know what the real bitch of it is? Paint by number. Or maybe you're in the middle of a storm, a big f***ing storm. You do what you gotta do to get out. You know, maybe you became a psychologist. Mm -hmm. Maybe you married the wrong woman. Maybe you should watch your mouth. Oh. Yeah, I think this... I think this is good for him. Well, she, you know, banging some other guy. I know. I will f***ing end with you. Got the chief. Time's up. What a session. Thursday, 4 o'clock. Make sure the kid's here. Oh, you're... Oh, you're still willing to go through this? Whoa. Oh, you're going through a lot, buddy. Well, That's... you look lovely in those glasses. I always wanted that blue eyeshadow. Wonderful. Yeah, th those glasses work so well on you. Bring me out of my time. Damn it, I'm going there in June when I graduate. <laughs> hey, you want to see my magic trick, Scott? <laughs> this one's for you, Rudolph. I think all these cameras disappear. <gasps> <laughs> wow. <Yeah. laughs> Very impressed. I know you've been thinking about that. You happen to get a good night kiss? Hoping to get a good night late. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just get out of the way now. <laughs> I like the two of them so much. I think I got some of your pickle. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. He's showing up. Come with me. Where are we going? You got a thing for swans? Is this like a fetish? It's something like... I thought about what you said to me the other day. You know what occurred to me? You don't have the faintest idea of what you're talking about. Why, thank you. You've never been out of Boston. If I asked you about art, you'd probably give me the skinny on every art book ever written. But you can't tell me what it smells like in the Sistine Chapel. You can't tell me what it feels like to wake up next to a woman and feel truly happy. When I ask you about war, you'd probably uh, throw Shakespeare at me, right? But you've never been near one. But you've never looked at a woman and been totally vulnerable. Feeling like God put an angel on earth just for you. And you wouldn't know what it's like to be her angel through cancer. And you wouldn't know about sleeping, sitting up in a hospital room for two months. You don't know about real loss. Because that only occurs when you love something more than you love yourself. I look at you, I see a scared kid but you presume to know everything about me because you saw a painting of mine you ripped my fucking life apart do you think i'd know the first thing about how hard your life has been because i read all of the twist i can't learn anything from you i can't read in some fucking book but well, you don't want to do that do you sport you're terrified of what you might say you move chief oh what a monologue come on let's open up no smoking He's back. Are you going to spend this entire session not saying anything? Oh my gosh, he is! Sat there counting the seconds until the session was over. Oh my gosh. Some kind of staring contest between two kids from the old neighborhood? Yeah, kind of. I can't talk first. Oh, we're still in this standoff. Okay. Talk. Please talk. Please start this. I was on this plane once. Captain gets on, he forgets to turn it off. All I could use right now is a job and a cup of coffee. The stewardess was bombing up the guy in the back of the plane. He's like, hey, hun, don't forget the coffee. You ever been on a plane? No, but it's a f***ing joke. It works better if I tell it in the first person. I have been late, you know. Good for time. you. Big time. <laughs> Good for you. I went on a date last week. Beautiful. She's smart. She's fun. Call her up, Romeo. Why? So I can realize she's not that smart. This girl's like perfect right now. I don't want to ruin that. That way you can go through your entire life without ever having to really know anybody. My wife used to fart when she was nervous. <laughs> you know, she used to fart in her sleep. She woke up and got like, oh, is that you? I said, yeah, I didn't have the heart to tell her. Oh. She woke herself up? Yes. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> Those are the things I miss the most. That's what made her my wife. People call these things imperfections, but they're not. You're not perfect, sport. He isn't perfect either. The question is whether or not you're perfect for each other. Now, you can know everything in the world, sport, but the only way you're finding out that one is by giving it a shot. Even if I did know, I wouldn't tell a piss ant like you. Talk more than any shrink I ever seen in my life. I teach this shit. I didn't say I know how to do it. <laughs> you ever think about getting remarried? My wife's dead. Well, I think that's a super philosophy, Sean. I mean, that way you could actually go through the rest of your life without ever really knowing anybody. Mm, got you there. 
thumbs up. Am I gonna tear up in every single one of their re their interactions? Ugh. Hello. Hey, I've been really busy, and <clears throat> but I'm... me too. <laughs> I mean, we had a really good time. Well, I had a really good time, too. I mean, I just... I mean, I wasn't there. You did! Let me take you out again. Can't right now. No, I've got no, to assign okay. the proton spectrum. But then maybe some other time. So, like tomorrow? Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. Couldn't wait till tomorrow. So you get this. I had to sleep with someone in your class. <laughs> totally one! You got lots of brothers and sisters. I have nice. 12 big brothers. You do not. I'm lucky 13 right here. What are they called? What are they? Maki, Ricky, Danny, Terry, Mikey, Davey, Timmy, Tommy, Joey, Robbie, Johnny, and Brian. And Willie. Willie. Well, I'd like to meet them. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, you know, I read your book last night. Oh, so you're the one. <laughs> <laughs> you ever wonder what your life would be like if you never met your wife? Why? Because the pain I feel now, I don't regret a single day I spent with her. Yeah, I am gonna tear up. So when did you know like, that she was the one for you? October 21st, 1975. Mm. <laughs> Very specific. It was game six of the World Series. Slept out on the sidewalk all night to get tickets. We're sitting in a bar and in walks this girl. In stepped Carlton Fisk. Oh. Yeah. Oh! 35,000 people on their feet. Whoa. Get over! You know, they charge the field, you know? Yeah. Did you rush the field? I know. I was in a bar having a drink with my future yeah. wife. Yeah, but you should have seen her. She was a stunner. Friends of yours, they let you get away with that? They slid my ticket across the table and I said, gotta see about a girl. It worked out. I don't regret the 18 years I was married to Nancy. I don't regret the six years I had to give up counseling when she got sick. And I sure as hell don't regret missing a damn game. Yeah, my Uncle Marty's driving home, right? State trooper. Ah, uh, season pulls him over. Pukes on the guy. State, he's pretty sure he's over the legal limit. He's about to throw the cuffs on him. This is huge. Boom. Gunshot? <laughs> you heard the story again. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> How could he hear the other Shut guy? Shut up! Behind I'm break your neck. Shut up. So he tells my uncle, stay here. After a few minutes, gets up, gets in his car, and just drives home. And he hears this knocking at the door. State trooper that pulled him over. I pulled you over last night is what? You took off. He's like, you know who I am. Let me get in your garage. This is Dady's police cruiser. <laughs> it's in my uncle's garage. No. Oh my gosh. State trooper. I had been so embarrassed. He didn't do anything. Shot. What the f is the point of your story? It doesn't make any sense. It does make sense if you listen to the story and quit asking questions. There's an old couple in bed in the morning of their 50th anniversary. I want to give you a little present. What would you like? I would like you to give me a job. Takes the teeth out. Now that's what I've been missing. Is there anything that I can do for you? Mary looks up at him and she goes, Give us a kiss. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Stuart <laughs> hears this and goes hauling down the aisle. And I yell, Don't forget the coffee. Oh, sh. <laughs> I know someone actually happened to him, Mary. Can I get your beer? Um, no, just a Perrier. You wanted to talk about Will. You talked to him at all about his future? My phone's been ringing off the hook with job offers. But I, I don't really think he's ready for that. You gotta give this kid direction. Direction's one thing, manipulation's another. Hmm. Why don't we give him time to figure out what he wants? It worked wonders for you, didn't it? Yeah, it did, you arrogant f***ing prick. The boy's in a meeting right now I set up for him over at McNeil. We've already offered you a position. Nobody in this town works without a retainer, guys. Oh my gosh. Retainer? You want us? Well, I was gonna ask what Will's gonna do, but this is apparently it. Until that day comes, keep your head to the grindstone. <laughs> They're so confused. What? You want some help? No. Oh, why don't we just hang out here all day? Yes, why don't we? Do you have a photographic memory? I don't know, I just kind of remembered. Well, have you studied organic chemistry? A little bit. Oh, just for fun. <laughs> Very fun. So much fun studying organic <laughs> chemistry. Are you mad? You know, there are very smart people here at Harvard, and even they have to study because this is really hard. Play the piano? Yeah, a bit. All right, so when you, when you look at a piano, you see Mozart. I see chopsticks. <laughs> Beethoven, Mozart, they saw it, they could just play. Probably can't hit the ball out of Fenway. I can't play the piano. When it came to stuff like that, I could always just play. Huh? I have to tell you something. I don't think you're telling him anything. I want you to come to California with me. Are you sure about that? Because that's a really serious thing you say. I mean, I, I, know. I think she means it. You might find out something about me you don't like, and now I'm stuck in California. Someone doesn't really want to be with me. Just wish they had a take back. 
I just want you to come to California with me. I can't go to California with you. Why not? I've got a job here. If you don't love me, you should just tell I'm me not because it's such I don't a love you. Don't push her away. I mean, you just want to have your little fling with, like, the guy from the other side of town and sit around with the other trust fund babies and talk about how you went slumming too once. My father died when I was 13 and I inherited this money. But I would give it back in a second. So don't put your sh** on me. Then at least I'm honest with you. No, what about your 12 brothers? And you're just gonna walk out. Ugh. What do you want to know? Yeah. That I'm a orphan? That the mother stabbed me. I want to help you. What do I got? A sign on my back? I just want to be with don't you because I love you. Me! I want to hear you say that you don't love me. I don't love you. No. This is correct. Hey, look, can we do this at Sean's office from now on? Because the commute is killing me. But did you think of the possibility? Right. Don't set up any more meetings. But I just wanted you to see what was out there. Hey, look, maybe I don't want to spend the rest of my life sitting around explaining shit. Think you could show me some appreciation. Do you know how easy this is for me? And I'm sorry you can't do this. I wouldn't have to sit here and watch you fumble around and it up. This is probably a total waste of my time. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Most days I wish I never met you. I didn't, I didn't have to walk around with the knowledge that there was someone like you out there. I, I didn't have to watch you throw it all away. Oh. Do you have a soulmate? Somebody who challenges you? Uh, Chucky. I'm talking about someone who opens up things for you, touches your soul. Skyler. Shakespeare, Nietzsche, Frost, O'Connor, mm. Kant, Pope, Block. That's, that's great. They're all dead. Yeah. Because all you see is every negative thing ten miles down the road. I mean, the guys who work their entire life laying bricks so their kids have a chance at the opportunities you have. You were born with it, so don't cop out behind. I didn't ask for this. There's nothing wrong with that. So that's somebody's home I'm building. Right. My dad laid brick. You could be a janitor anywhere. Why did you work at the most prestigious technical college in the whole fucking world? Because I don't see a lot of honor in that, Will. So what do you really want to do? Mm. I want to be a shepherd. Maybe you should go do that. You're chucking me? Yeah, get the f*** out. No, no, no. I thought we were friends. What do you mean you... Playtime's mm. over. Look at you, you f***ing burnout. Don't do this. You want Dead. to talk about soulmates? Where is she? Dead. And you just yes. cash in your chips and you walk away? Hey, at least I played a hand. Some people will lose a big hand like that and have the sack to ante up again. But I ask you a very simple question and you can't give me a straight answer. See you, Bo Peep. I just wanted to, you know, uh, call you up uh, before you left. I love you. No. You take care. Poor Skylar. Oh, she's hoping he'll be there. Ah. Well, if he doesn't show up and I find a report saying he wasn't here and he goes back to jail, he won't be on my conscience. I guess Will doesn't care that if he doesn't show up, he could be sent back to jail. So how's your lady? Well, ah, she's gone. Yeah. What was this? It's like a week ago. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> so uh, when are you done with those meetings? Like the week after I'm 21. Yeah, they're gonna hook you up with a job. Sit in a room and do long division for the next 50 years. Look, you're my best friend, so don't take this the wrong way. In 20 years, if you're still living here, I'll f kill you. Yeah, he'll kill you. You got something none of us have. Oh, come on. Why, why is it always this? I mean, I fing owe it to myself. You owe it to me. I mean, you're sitting on a winning lottery ticket. Too much of a f to cash it in. Because I'd do f anything to have what you got. You know what the best part of my day is? For about 10 seconds from when I pull up to the curb and when I get to your door. Darren, I'll knock on the door and you won't be there. Mm. I don't know much, but I know that. I hope that by the end of the movie, maybe that does happen. Why is he hiding? Why doesn't he trust anybody? He was abandoned by the people who were supposed to love him the oh. most. I mean, it's true. And if you push him right now, it's going to be the same thing all over again, and I'm not going to let that happen to him. You're angry at me for doing what you could have done, but ask yourself, Sean. Is that him? You think I'm a failure. I know who I am. It was a conscious mm -hmm. choice. I didn't f up. Not about you, you mathematical dick. He's a good kid, and I won't see you f him up like you're trying to f up me right now. Yeah, Pushed him because I learned cool. to push myself. He's not you, you guessed that? He showed up. A lot of that stuff goes back a long way between me and him. Yeah. Hey, you're not gonna fail me, are you? Are you? Why? Oh, now I'm nervous to read it. Have you had any, uh, experience with that? My father was an alcoholic. Mean f***ing drunk. Mm. So I'd provoke him so he wouldn't go after my mother and little brother. 
Yeah, he used to just put a wrench, a stick, and a belt. Say, chew. He used to go with the wrench. It's fine. That's why. So, uh, you know, what is it, like, fear of abandonment? Is that why I broke up with Skyla? I didn't know you had. Yeah, he did. Hey, Will, you see this? This is not your fault. I know. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Don't f with me. It's not your fault. Don't, don't f with me, all right? Don't f with me, Sean. Not you. <laughs> it's not your fault. <laughs> <laughs> What's your next step? I was over at uh, McNeil. Is that what you want? Yeah, you know, I think so. Congratulations. Thanks. So that's so that's it. So we're we're done. You're a free man. Do we have more sessions though in the future? I just want you to know, Sean, that you're welcome, Will. Hope we keep in touch, you know. Yeah, me too. I've got an answering machine at the college I'll be checking in with. You call that? I'll get back to you right away. Yeah, you know, I figured I'd put my money back on the table and see what kind of cards I get. Thank you, Sean. Uh, yeah. Violate the uh, patient-doctor relationship. Only if you grab my. Hey. Good luck, son. What's up? Did you guys go? No, I had to talk him down. Go get me a beer. I ordered two beers. Happy birthday. Come on. Happy I'm getting out. Is it his birthday? Here's your present. We knew you had to get back and forth to Cambridge for your new job, and I knew I wasn't gonna f***ing drive. <laughs> so You're legally allowed to drink, so we figured the best thing for you, kid, was a car. <laughs> it's the ugliest car I've ever seen in my life. We and Bill scraped together the pots, and uh, Morgan was out panhandling for change every day. <laughs> and Bill rebuilt this engine ourselves, Sam. It's a good car, dude. The engine's good. Happy 21, Will. Come on in. Is it time for you guys to make up now? Sean, I... Uh, me too, Jerry. I heard you're taking some time. So where are you going? India, China, Baltimore. <laughs> How about it rink right now? Yeah, it's a good idea. Got the winner right here, pal. Oh. <laughs> He's all packed up. Wow. <laughs> it is kind of weird to me that you wouldn't tell your friends that you're leaving, but I'm not going to judge you. I'm not here to judge you. <laughs> Finally gets to ride up front. If the professor calls about that job, just tell him I had to go see about a girl. <laughs> Stole my life. <laughs> It leaves it very open-ended. I mean, you know he's going to see Skylar. I wish I could see them reunite, but that's okay. That is okay. I'm honestly just trying to think of what to say because, my, I mean, ultimately my heart is just happy that he is following after Sean's footsteps and he has to go find out about his girl. This, uh, the story really got me. I mean, there were a lot of moments that really got to me. Any of the moments with Sean talking about his wife, um, just heartbreaking, just absolutely heartbreaking. Oh, but ultimately, like, I mean, you guys watch the movie too, so you know this, but I'm really forgetting everyone's name right now. But Will, oh yeah, the movie, Will Hunting. Will just 
his whole life needed a figure like Sean. He needed someone who knew what he had been through, who understood that side of his life, but also he just needed to be told that what happened in his childhood and what happened in his life is just not his fault. I mean, it took Will a long time to accept that. And, and again, it's one thing to like tell yourself that, but to like fully accept that is just such a completely different thing. And so, ah, uh, good Will hunting. That, that movie got me. That movie got me indeed. It, it's really cool that in this movie, like he had two different mentors in his life, or at least in this part of his life where one person, Ambo, I think is his name, he was more about what you can accomplish in life. And like that life is what, words, life is about what you accomplish in life. And then on the other side, there's Sean, where he could have gone that route. But I guess ultimately his happiness was based on his relationships and what he got out of life in that way. I mean, I think it was important for Will to have both of those people in his life to finally figure out what he want, wanted because I mean clearly the whole movie he had so many opportunities but just didn't know what he wanted out of life and so I'm glad he had both of those mentors and I'm glad that both of those mentors were friends with each other even though they had a, definitely had a complicated relationship that they needed to figure out at the end but oh this story got me what a fantastic cast literally everyone was perfect in this movie and perfect in their roles goodwill hunting now it makes sense why um it's called that definitely earlier in life i was like oh it's about goodwill no it's not obviously it's not i'm just going to be sitting in my feels for a little bit well that was goodwill hunting thank you for watching be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time